Hey folks, this is Rob Wells here with you from the law office of Robert M. Wells. Our office helps out landlords and property managers deal with their landlord tenant situations and problems. In this video, we're going to talk about landlords, property managers, beware of your lease terms. Um, if you have a more protective term that is more protective than state law, courts will enforce those terms. Before I talk about this situation though, landlords, property managers, if you're dealing with a problematic tenant situation, such as non-payment of rent or your tenants not following lease terms, please feel free to reach out to us below. Uh, now let's begin. Now, I was doing one of my case reviews on a new case that we got and the situation was landlord had a term um, of default in his lease agreement that stated that landlord had to give seven days notice. Well, as many of you know, California law for default, such as not paying your rent or following a lease term, you only have to provide a minimum of three days notice. And this situation is quite common when landlords or property managers use form leases that were written for different um, states, for example. I think, in, I think in, in this example, this lease could have been from like Illinois, because I think Illinois has a seven day requirement. I know Nevada has a five day requirement and I had that problem come a couple of months ago. So landlords, beware. If you're getting leases from online or you're getting them from a friend that's out of a you know, different state, they may have different requirements and in that form boilerplate lease you might have terms in there that state that you have to give you know five or seven days notice i'll tell you a war story i had one that was so bad it said that uh, on non-payment of rent it was yet yeah, the landlord had to give 30 days notice so um yeah you need to like just watch out for that because if not california uh courts will enforce those provisions even though you may not have intended that to be the case it's in the lease if someone your tenant points that out in court and you didn't give the requisite number of days notice in this case seven days or whatever it is court's going to throw your case out so landlords, property managers, if you are running into a situation where you have a non-payment uh, paying tenant or a lease problem with a tenant, please feel free to reach out to us below. Until next time, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.